Good day everyone. Welcome to our core subject, Design, Technology, and Society. I am Christian Meyers Linda, your student teacher for this subject. In today's video, I will discuss the lesson one, which is the science and technology throughout the history. Before we proceed to our discussion, we have here our learning objectives, what we expect to do at the end of the lesson. Students are expected to be able to distinguish the meaning of science and technology, identify the advantages of science and technology and its impact to various fields of society, and discuss how science and technology change the lives of the people. In this lesson, let us start with the introduction of science technology and the society. Now what is science, technology, and society? Science, technology, and society explores the powerful social, ethical, and political relationship that drives research and innovation. The program's primary goal is to give students analytical skills that help connect science and technology to broader social needs. Science, technology, and society is the study of how social, political, and cultural values affect the scientific research and technological innovation and how this in turn affect the society. Science, technology, and society refers the interaction between science and technology and social, political, cultural contexts which shape by them. Meaning, these three concepts are interconnected with one another and help support with the innovation of today and in the future. Let's get into the detail of what is Science. Science is a systematic and organized body of knowledge that predicts the nature or our universe. It is a knowledge gained through observation and experimentation. This is where the human activity happened or the scientist is here. It has the social enterprise of the knowledge, people, skills, facilities, apparatuses, and technologies. It leads to the formation of the concepts, methods, principles, theories, law, and procedures which seek to describe and explain nature and its phenomena. In short, science is where gathering of ideas, collecting of ideas, is where it happens. The people or the scientists behind it are finding formulas or things to compose a new product. Now, what is technology? Technology are us the material product. They are the result of scientific inquiry and we can say that this is the hardware produced by the scientist or the inventor. These are collection of methods, techniques, and processes used in the production of goods and services. This is where the application of knowledge happens, a square of solving scientific and practical problems that will help humans to survive in their everyday living. It is also the complex of system knowledge, skills, methods, and the resources that were applied and allocated the development or operation for the production of a new improved product. Here, technology is what we are using nowadays. From the things, appliances, gadgets, that are somehow the result of the technology. And now, what is the society? We all know that the society are the ones who benefited from the usefulness of the science and technology. They are the ones who use this type of technology and more of creating various innovations to be used in the future. This is somehow the society are the consumers of this innovation. In other words, technology is the child or what we call the product of science. And science is the parent or the cause of the technology. You see in here that the science is above than the technology. It is because without the scientific explanations, principles, findings, research, and innovations, technical improvement is left to chance. And by that, the society cannot use or they cannot utilize the advancement of technology in which we are consuming right now. Now we have here the impact of science and technology. The science and technology creates impact to various fields of our society. From communication, education, agriculture, medicine, and transportation. Let's tackle first the communication. We all know that this field has really innovated from 
sending of letters. The next generation were the telephone and consumes more of our money. And up until now are the smartphones. Here we can communicate freely like chat, having this conversation through emails and other social media platforms. Let's get jump to the education. Today's science and technology, education has become more accessible to the learners. From paper pencil system to today's flexible learning. When we say flexible learning, learners can be able to write and at the same time do multitask using those technology. With the help of technology, it became accessible to the learners when doing research, getting information. We can use some of the websites and up until now, we utilize it with the online learning. Now with the agriculture world, the farmers of today can benefit the technological revolution to increase their yield from farming and livestock rearing. This modern agriculture were driven by the continuous improvements in digital tools and data and collaboration among the farmers and researchers. Here we can observe from using of plow to tractors and to the use of harvesting equipment, the irrigation and seeding technology. Let's tackle with the field of medicine. With the help of this technology, the medical field can make a lot of discoveries regarding the treatments, data collection, symptoms, and disease research. Also with the cure research and human aiding devices. From the hearing aids, prosthetics, speaking devices, and a lot more that help a lot of people. In today's situation, the online consultation were done. And the last field is the transportation. We all know our ancient people that they usually walk when they want to go to other place or having the use of big land animals to carry them or to carry their things. And up to now were the use of different means of transportation. Here, traveling was very easy with the different transportation services such as from bicycle to bus to train to ship and to our plane. Here also the transporting of goods has become easy with their transaction. And now are the advantages of science and technology in the lives of the people. The science and technology helps the people's life and lifestyle to change as a result of the improved science and technology. Their life has become easy and comfortable through the help of these innovations. Improved science and technology results to industrialization and thus converting a simple society to a complex one. Here, the standard of living has increased with the increase of technology. Urbanization results when the science and technology improve because people usually migrate to a place where their basic needs are met. Due to the development of the science and technology, the impossible have become possible. Also, the traveling has become easy and fast within minutes. Man have become advanced by using various new technology. People become advanced in a way that they can gather information from this type of technology, from the websites or other information blogs that help them to improve themselves and the researches. Also, the communication is being fast, easy, and more cheaper. Which means communicating with people have more become efficient with the help or the improvement of this science and technology. And also, we all know that people have stronger desire for their material goods when science and technology improve in a certain place. Thus, having the science and technology is a great opportunity for the people or our society. So that ends our discussion for today. Thank you for your time class. If you have questions or clarifications, just comment it down below or you can just message me on my Facebook account.